What will win in a drag race between the new McLaren 750S, a Ferrari 296 GTB, a Lamborghini Huracan Performante, or my old faithful Porsche 911 Turbo S? Well, we're about to find out because we're going to race them over the standing quarter mile. I'm Matt Watson, and you're watching Car Wow. Now let me tell you about this McLaren. It has a four litre twin turbo V8 sat just behind me. It pumps out 750 horsepower and 800 newton meters of torque. It drives the rear wheels only via a seven speed dual clutch automatic gearbox, does have launch control, and this car is reasonably light. Tips the scales just under 1400 kilograms. Now let's find out about that Ferrari from racing driver Sam, who will be piloting that thing. Hey, racing driver Sam, you're in not only the most expensive but also the quickest car here which doesn't seem right considering you have the most skills and the most excuses when those skills do fail you hi matt yeah it's really cold though and because this has got the most power it's got to be more difficult to put the power down so there you go what page of the racing driver book of excuses was that one off because you got to it very quickly do you have a bookmark no that's page one you just open it out and off you go you read from there on have you got any other excuses blue paint slows you down i don't know what the camber seems a bit biased towards you than me here but you know other than that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> give us the facts and the stats and the figs on your motor so this is a beautiful ferrari 296 gtb three liter twin turbo v6 it's an electric motor it's in the gearbox which is different i don't know what that means it's got 663 horsepower and then 167 horsepower from the electric motor 740 newton meters of torque it's rear wheel drive eight speed dual clutch gearbox and it's just under 1.5 tons in the dry okay so a couple of things i want to pull you up on sam what is the capacity of that v6 engine it's a three liter twin turbo v6 i'll give you another go uh it's a three liter twin turbo v6 i can keep reading this page does that help for some reason i think it's a 2.9 you are the motoring journalist guru so i'll take what you say as gospel but i'm also quite wrong quite a lot can somebody check their facts and figures nicholas nicholas is best for stats i can but i'll have to refer to dr google first because uh <laughs> off the top of my head i don't know either in the meantime sam can you tell us the combined power output because you gave us a separate power output at the moment you're playing your car down because i think you've got more power than me if you were any good at maths you would know that works to 830 horsepower so you have quite a lot more horsepower you have more weight and your weight is dry i'm pretty sure mclaren quote wet weight don't they with fluids and stuff i would imagine so but you're in a mclaren it's track derived it's in its home turf it's on uk soil and cold conditions this was never meant for this this is meant to be in lovely italian beautiful country roads but no you know i'm already losing those are some more excuses aren't they and it would be your skill when you finally do win in your more powerful car with high Bread to help fill in the um, torque gap. You will just say it's all down to your ability to hold the wheel straight and flex your right foot. It's got a lot of power. It's going to take a lot of skill to put that power to the ground. What's power without traction? Have we got an answer for the actual engine capacity of the Ferrari? We certainly do. And uh, as it stands, it's 1 0 to Sam already. It is a 3 litre V6. Sorry, Matt. Um, I'm going to fire myself. Does um, Lewis, do you want to come and drive the car? I'll try holding the camera. I'm hoping the editors will cut this out, but I've got a feeling they're going to be evil to me again. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Can we get the stats on the Lamborghini, please? We certainly can. This is a Lamborghini Huracan Performante. It has a 5.2 litre naturally aspirated V10, which is massive and has more cylinders than any. I don't want to listen to that. I'm going to find somewhere on the internet where they say it's 2.9 litres for that car. Doesn't quite have more power though. It's it's only 640 horsepower and 600 newton metres of torque. I'm just gonna have to post an article on Wikipedia about it, let's have a look. But it does have four wheel drive. The power gets sent through a seven speed dual clutch automatic gearbox. It weighs 1,382 kilos according to Lamborghini. Uh, you can't buy one anymore, but when you could, it was just under £208,000. I'm on Ferrari's website and it's going, oh, I'll just accept all your cookies. Don't tell me about driving fun, just give me the stats. I've sent Matt to sleep, haven't I? He, he was so bored, he's nodded off. <laughs> it doesn't say the engine capacity on it. It says it's got V620 degrees got the horsepower. I've seen it on Wikipedia, but I'm not trusting Wikipedia. Sam's got so bored, he's got out of his blooming car to see what's up. He's on the phone. Okay, the best I've got is, it's a 2996 cc engine, which definitely means it's a three litre. 
Right, I'm that kind of guy that would bet everything on black. Be damn sure it's going to be black and obviously it would turn up red, wouldn't it? Let's get the stats on the Porsche. Hey Matt, yes, I'm in the 911 Turbo S, the old faithful. So I've got the usual turbocharged 3.8 litre flat six engine with 650 horsepower and 800 newton meters of torque. So that goes to all four wheels through an eight speed dual clutch gearbox. Weigh about 1.6 tonnes. These are 180,000 pounds new, so they're not cheap either. So we've got all the stats on the cars, including the fact that yes, indeed, the Ferrari's a three litre. Let's compare the stats of them side by side. If you want to really go into intricate detail, just pause the video now. Now let's get on with the next bit, and that is the CarWire sound check. So I am going to rev up this four litre twin turbo V8. Get a load of this. No soft limiters for Mr. Watson. Let's have a listen to the Ferrari. <laughs> Your car was sucking in so much air that it was actually pulling you backwards. Wow, Sam, that's amazing. Let's have a listen to the Lamborghini. Uh, this is going to be disappointing. Do the Porsche because you've got to tick a box, but I won't hear it from over here. That's enough of that. I think the order of which sounds the best goes like this. The worst is the Porsche. Then this McLaren. Then the Ferrari, which does sound very nice. But really, if we're all honest, the Lamborghini V10 sounds the best. This sounded nicer than the McLaren. Yeah, I, I just did the order. Yeah, and that's what I said. Basically, the order. Let's just recap. We're going to recap. Porsche sounds the worst. Then this, the Ferrari, and then the Lamborghini, which is the best sounding car. Do you agree, Sam? I think it's the weirdest way to say in order of which sounds best. You'd say the Lamborghini sounded best, then the Ferrari, then the McLaren, then the Porsche. You did it backwards, which was very confusing. But yes, I agree with you, even though it was upside down. Okay. Right, it's going to be one of those days for me, isn't it? Okay, shall we go with the race? Bit napping on the line, but here we go. Come on! <laughs> that was a mad launch! Come on, Porsche! <laughs> that GTB is off, everything's off. Oh no, Matt's gone past! Okay, so I think I was last off the line. Fortunately, I wasn't last over it. I think I did manage to come past the Lamborghini. Isn't that correct, Nick? That is right, yeah. I got, <laughs> got a really good launch initially, snapped my head back, and then it felt like the car went on a coffee break and just nothing happened for a second. But yeah, <laughs> you easily overtook me before the line, I've got to be honest. However, I couldn't reel in that Porsche. It was just too far gone. I mean, that thing launches like crazy, doesn't it, Rory? Yeah, it launches like crazy. I did watch Sam come past me though. But this is one of the things, I mean, my timing wasn't great off the line, but this was quite slow getting away, the way it manages its traction. What was impressive was how that two wheel drive Ferrari launched off the line. Congratulations on your actual reaction. Sam, obviously I'll point as ever. But that thing just hooks up, doesn't it, for a rear wheel drive car? I think if we can go again, this will go even quicker. I don't think I want to go again now because I, I've got a strategy for making this go quicker, but if you've got a strategy for making yours go even quicker, ugh, there's no hope. Maybe I can beat the Porsche, let's try that. You are now no longer <laughs> the thing to be. I think you're gonna win this, Sam. So whether I can get past that Porsche. So let's give it another go and you can see how much more of a victory you can enjoy, Sam. Come on! Here we go! <laughs> yeah! Blimmin' heck, look at that go! <laughs> Will that Ferrari catch me? He's coming! Oh! <laughs> 
But he ain't gonna do it. He's not gonna do it. <laughs> I'll beat the Porsche. How did I do that? I'd like another go because this didn't launch properly, I'm afraid. Well, let's just leave it as that. I think that was a good run for everyone. Be quiet in the Porsche. I got such a good launch in this that time. It, it actually hurts my neck. I have to crane forward to see the starter. And when this thing takes off, it's like being punched in the back of your shoulders. Sam, do you want to open your book of excuses? Well, I didn't cheat off the line. That was one. Other than that, you know, it wasn't as good as my first launch. By the time you came back to me, my tires were stone cold, so. There was that. Um, it seemed to be a bit of a headwind. Um, there was a glare where Nick was standing, so it was hard to see where his hands would have to drop. Um, Come on, more. You can do even more. Come on. It's really cold today, so your turbos are going to be loving that cold air. Um, so that's not fair. You've got turbo. You've got turbos. Is your hat a little bit itchy as well? It's distracting. It is a little bit itchy, but my head's really cold, so that's a compromise. The glare of that green Lambo was a bit is coming across the dash, and this isn't Alcantara, so it's hard to see. It's actually hitting the windscreen. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Let's run it again. Not because of Rory not getting his car to launch, which is unusual in the Porsche. So much so, I don't believe it. <laughs> but because that Lambo clearly did dazzle you, Sam. Let's go again. At the moment, it's one each between me and the Ferrari. I'm up for this. Let's go. Sam, just for reference, did I actually jump that one? No, sorry. I was looking at you for your reaction. I was commenting on Matthew. Judges, can you just check no one jumped the start? No jump, so it looks good. You all went pretty much at the same time, apart from the Porsche had its kind of slow get off. Sam, so you said that someone jumped. I think you were referring to either me or Nicholas. Would you like to apologise to us both, please? No. <laughs> it's, it's, um, what's that called? Subjective. <laughs> or not in your favour. <laughs> okay, fine. Do you want to join us on the line, Matt, or are you going to stay all the way back there? Well, I don't want you to have the excuse that I, I'm a, a millimetre ahead of you, because that'll be deployed, won't it? <laughs> so I'm just playing it safe. Are you happy? Before we go, are you happy, Sam, with my location on the line? I am happy, and I'm going to launch exactly as fair as you do. <laughs> but the, but the, the judge said it was fine. I don't know. Three, two, one. Smashed it. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, Porch. Oh, a bit of slip. Oh, no, not again. Come on, Porsche! Come on! Come on! Let's just first of all go to the judges, okay? Did anybody jump the start? And it only really matters whether I did or didn't. <laughs> While they're deliberating, do you know what? This is launching so, so well. That McLaren is just unbelievable. I think in the first race, your tires are a little bit cold. I'll tell you what happened with the first race. I had the stability on, it still does it. And before when I've launched these cars on the 720, McLaren said, leave the stability fully on and let the computer figure it out. This one now, maybe they tweaked it slightly, but it, it allows for spin, a little bit of spin when you have it in stability halfway. And I think that just helps it, especially when it's cold like this, lets it spin a bit, keep the boost on. And it really did launch well. There is a slight delay when you lift off the brakes, you have to time it a bit, but wow, it really hooks and it really goes. I thought you'd reel me in, but nope. No, it couldn't, I couldn't reel you in. And I, again, I can't fault how this is getting off the line. I mean, I'm happy with my reaction. It was, everything was good. That was just better. So no excuses? No, you're in a faster car. There we go. 7.51, let's do the thing. So then what exactly happened? Well, the McLaren won. It completed the standing quarter mile in 10.3 seconds. 
The slow motion replay shows that the Ferrari just about beat the Porsche by the narrowest of margins, though both cars crossed the line in 10.4 seconds. The Lamborghini came last. It took 10.7 seconds to do the standing quarter mile. Want to sell your car quickly, easily, and for a fair price? Then head to CarWow to have over 4,000 trusted dealers ready to bid on it in an online auction. First, enter your car's registration to get an instant approximate valuation. Then, if you want to proceed, give us some more details and upload some photos, and we'll help you set a fair reserve price for your car. That's the minimum amount you'd be happy to sell it for. Once you've done that, we'll enter your car into an online auction. When the auction's over, we'll let you know the result, and the dealer with the winning bid will be in touch to arrange easy payment and free collection of your car. 93% of sellers surveyed said they got the price they expected, or more, through CarWow. The best bit is, it's completely free. I put a link in the description of this video and the pinned comment to take you directly to CarWow, where over 4,000 dealers are ready to bid on your car. Or you can just click on the pop-out banner that should be appearing in the top right-hand corner of the screen now. Alternatively, just Google Help Me CarWow, and we will help you sell your car quickly, easily, and for a fair price. On with the video. Now we have a rolling race over the half mile. The cars are in their automatic modes and their least sporty normal setting. I'm gonna call it in. Three, two, one, go. God, this took ages to kick, ages to, ages to, ages to kick down. Oh, hello. Holy sh Going now though, to the half mile this one. Can I pull the Porsche and the Lambo in before it? Oh my God, look at the Ferrari. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, not gonna lie, this car just took ages to kick down when I was in comfort mode. And then I was in a sort of like dirty, torque hole before the turbos were on boost. What I could see is everyone else shooting off, especially that Ferrari, which clearly won the half mile race, Sam. That was some kind of an Italian explosion I was just a part of. That was insane. The Lambo took off so good, but my God, this got going. On the initial pickup, which car like lurched ahead first? Was it the Ferrari or the Lamborghini? I think it was Nick and the Lambo, to be honest. It seemed more responsive, but then, I mean, only for a tenth or so of a second, and then this just took off. Yeah, that might be something to do with the fact naturally aspirated engine just responds. Very good gearbox in that Lambo as well. And then your hybrid system just meant that there wasn't much difference. But what we really need to do is take the gearboxes out of the equation. So let's run again, rolling race, half mile. This time we'll do it in sportier setting, manual mode, and we'll do it from 30 miles an hour in second gear, okay? Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. God, that, that came on boost so quick. Oh my God. Oh, that Ferrari is off. <laughs> Not going to catch the Ferrari now, he's going. That Ferrari just took off. Definitely the hybrid system really helps with pickup, doesn't it? I don't know who this car is for. This is so fast, it's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Lamborghini, were you ever ahead of the Ferrari this time or not? I don't think so. I was hoping naturally aspirated instant throttle response would be enough but clearly the electric motor and that hybrid system is just on another level. And what happened between the Turbo S and the Lamborghini? I'm guessing the Turbo S one. No, sadly not. Um, the Lambo gets a real jump on you with the natural aspirated engine um, and its gearbox. And then I just couldn't reel him back in. It wasn't a massive gap, but I lost, unfortunately. Oh dear. Well, you might have a better chance with the next race. Right, and everybody, same again. Third gear roll on this time though, from 50. Three, two, one, go. Oh, 
Oh no, Porsche's ahead of me now. How has he done that? Ferrari's still ahead. Not by as much. Oh, I love the feel of this car. It just feels so good, so precise, so small, such great visibility. It's amazing just how much smaller and compact it feels than my Porsche 911 GT3 RS. If you want to see my latest update on that car, what I've done with it, what's happening, click on the pop-out banner up there, okay? Anyway, let's find out what happened. Sam, that time the gap wasn't quite so large, but still nicely ahead. Yeah, this is just doing everything right. The time between gear shifts, there's just no no delay in the acceleration, just everything is just, it's like this car was born to do this. Which does seem a bit strange then with the launch, that I'd have thought like the hybrid system and all that kind of stuff would have just helped with the launch and it would have won the drag race because it's clearly winning the rolling races. Have you got any explanation for that? Your kind of specialist racing driver knowledge or your ability to just make stuff up on the spot? I think if we did this again in the middle of June, I think this would have you. I just don't think, because it's got the extra torque, the extra power, I just don't think it's using it on the launch. Yeah, it's just grip level, I think. Okay, and that time, Rory, in the Porsche, did he manage to beat the Lamborghini? I thought he might be at his power band so you could benefit from your turbo torque. Yeah, it was very kind of you to let me be on my turbo torque because I was and I beat him. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Sorry, Nick. Sorry. It's all right, mine still sounds the best. In fact, it's so loud, I can barely hear you over the radio. Shall we just do another sound check, just quickly? I'm gonna put my window down to hear everybody, so. In fact, wait there, wait there. I've, that was me, I'm gonna have, come and have a listen to you, Sam. You stay there. We'll get your fallen camera in a moment. Go for it. They're absolutely right in the way that they say it sounds like a little V12, because it sort of does, doesn't it? It's really smooth the way it spins up. Let's have this Lamborghini. Let me get behind you, Nick. I can see, I can see you covering your ears. <laughs> I didn't want to do it again in case I deafen you. We're just going through the, the motions here. We're ticking a box, Rory. Just rev it up. My interior is quite loud, though. That's why I went for a GT3 RS, for the naturally aspirated, great sounding engine, because while that turbo engine is brilliant, it doesn't sound great. Now, I just want to say a huge thanks to the guys that have lent me this car. Go check that out. Pop out banner just up there. Also, I want to say a huge thanks to everyone else who's lent us cars for this drag race. Now, if you'd like to follow Sam, right, his channel is Book of Excuses <laughs> on Instagram, okay? All right, that's where you'll find him. I'm going to give you an excuse for your book. The reason why your car might not have launched as well as it could do, or other times we've launched that car, could begin with the letter B. What might that be? Bridgestone! Correct Amundo. What am I on? Pirelli's. Okay, it doesn't count, I'm on Pirelli's. <laughs> <laughs> it's evens. Now we can have a brake test from 100 miles an hour. The car that stops in the shortest distance wins. You will not be changing down the gears while braking, because <laughs> this is just to show you what the car would perform like in just an everyday person's hands if they suddenly need to brake all of a sudden. Let's find out when we reach the line full emergency stop. Two feet! I pulled a muscle. I left foot braked on that and I should have done right foot and I pulled a muscle in my right leg because it thought it needed to brake as well and it all just went wrong. Oh, anyway, you won, Sam. No, wait a minute. Look at the Porsche. We're all quite level. You came second, Sam, then we had Nick third and I came last, didn't I? Even though I got an air brake. Yeah, even though you got an air brake, but you are on <coughs> really good tyres. Does my problem begin with P? Almost certainly. <laughs> that Rory cheated. <laughs> 100%. I know Porsche is good, but like, no. Okay, we'll run it again and see if he beats us by a similar margin. Here comes the line. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Sorry, McLaren. 
I lost for you twice. Did the Porsche win twice? Yes, it did. And I'm sat on houndstooth seats, like some sort of luxury barge, and I've smashed everyone here. The gaps are different than before, but the order is still the same, isn't it, Nick? One outlier is Sam. Do you think that racing driver Sam, the most competitive edge out of anyone I've ever met, even more than Yanni, to be fair, do you reckon he might have changed down gears, maybe braked a little bit early, or do you think that car just overperforms? No, I've said it a thousand times, these carbons were now hot, and then it worked more efficiently. My peak pressure is always higher than yours, Matthew. That's why you're six miles down the road from me. Maybe we need to get me some weight training on my legs, don't we? Because I've got chicken legs. Oh well, I need to hit the brake harder. Whew, that was fun. If you'd like to watch some other videos featuring the Ferrari and maybe another one with the Porsche, click on the video windows. Also, if you want to compare these cars quarter mile times next to other cars we've drag raced, just click on the CarWow logo to check out our CarWow Drag Race leaderboard. Thanks for watching.